what is going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you a war recap from week 5 CWL Rising. That's right, I know that we just finished week 8 and that means I am 4 recaps behind and I really apologize about that. I have been recording recaps uh, though unfortunately I missed last week against Clash United. Uh, we did wind up uh, pulling out the win against Clash United um, but we've got recaps here from... Uh, Today we're going to do Reddit Ace. Um, I will be getting one out for Gunma Samurai. Um, and I will be getting one out for uh, this past uh, week where we faced Bangladesh. Uh, the, the, the nice thing is that uh, at least this one, Reddit Ace and Bangladesh, are both um, in, in our division, the Bomb Tower division. Uh, so these were important matches, and, and we did wind up pulling out the win in both of those. Uh, note in this one, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have a base that did not get hit. We've, we, we wound up using all attacks, I believe, 60 attacks on either side. But one base was off limits uh, because we had a Town Hall 10, who was a fairly new Town Hall 10, but had a, a base, an FC base, that had not dropped Infernos, and he forgot to change his base. Uh, so go ahead and... And, and watch this because I'm going to burn that base here in just a few minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the basic war statistics. Okay, so here are the basic war statistics. You can see um, we both sides used 60 attacks. Uh, we had 26 triples. They had 23 triples. We had three 10v10 triples, including a six-pack from Fat Joe. We're going to watch both of his attacks. Um... Let's have a look at the war bases. So uh, you can see they were able to two-star all of our 11s, tripled a couple of our 10s. Um, I don't think they had any 10v10 triples. So we scroll through here. Nope. Uh, this, <laughs> this was um, a mistake on our part. So Captain Sparrow is a new 10. If you look back, you'll see some recaps where he was an 11. Um, he's recently dropped both of his Infernos and they're both level 2. However, he had a base where he had not put Infernos up yet for FC. And <laughs> that was the base that he rolled with for uh, CWL. And I'm going to show it here. I'm going to burn his base for him just for doing that. Not that it really matters. He would never take this base to war anyway, or at least I hope not. You can see it looks a lot more like a Town Hall 9 base than a Town Hall 10 base, uh, but no Infernos. Uh, they, um, Reddit Ace, immediately contacted us and said, hey, you've got a 10 without Infernos. Uh, um, we worked out a, a deal where uh, our number 11 would still hit uh, two, two other bases, and their number 11 would also hit two bases, but both 11s would be left untouched. I'm not going to burn his base since we didn't hit it. Um, so, if we look at their side, uh, we were able to get two stars on all of their 11s, and we tripled every 10 except this one that we couldn't hit. Like I said, we had three uh, 10v10 triples, and then we uh, used 11s on the others. The, uh, I mean, the sad thing is, um, I mean, we, we would have had at least 87 stars um, because we had two Town Hall 11 attacks on Town Hall 11s. Um, I'm going to, like, this uh, Death Hopper here actually hit number 83, um, and he got two stars and 84%, so just shy of having the top attack. Big Alex, that's a Town Hall 11. So Death Hopper came in with a, a Lalo with a bunch of Rage, and it was such a cool attack. Uh, I may show that just because we're going to show that Town Hall uh, actually, you know what? I won't. I won't show that attack. I won't burn through Town Hall 11s. Uh, since they weren't tripled, we'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, uh, we should have had 87 stars. Um, had, had we planned a little bit better on these Town Hall 11 attacks, especially this one um, being hit by another Town Hall 11, we, we should have had really 88 stars. We should have had an 11 v 11 triple. Didn't happen. Um, okay, so let's hop right into this. We are going to start with Fat Joe's first triple. And this was a Bolalo on their number seven. Um, you can see that we've got uh, three air defenses right here, um, packed in, uh, easily accessible. So he comes in with a Golem. 
setting his uh, funnel here with wizards, uh, clearing a nice path. Also using a wizard over here to get some value. Of course you can see where he's going to enter here based on the funnel that he's creating. Here comes another golem and some wall breakers. Uh, I'll talk about this on the next one, but one of our uh, one of our 10v10 triples, probably uh, Captain Sparrow would have had a triple on, uh, or, or very close to one, but unfortunately he had a wall breaker fail. Somebody replicated his attack, Fat Joe did actually, I think, or maybe it was Warble. Um, Somebody did, and they got a they got the uh, triple. So uh, Bolalo uh, bowlers are in, King is in, Queen is in, um, CC is out there, kind of beaten up on that on that golem uh, under poison though, and it's going to die here in a second. There it goes. Um, Queen is taken out. Uh, one of these air defenses. There goes the second air defense, and now hogs start coming in over here. Hound comes in over here. Just one hound in his CC. Um, pushes up there, rages right as he gets to it. Very smart because they're going to push straight to that expo. Um, you've got some heavy, heavy DPS right there. Expo, uh, Tesla, and of course a um, wizard tower which wreak, wreak havoc on loons. Fortunately, though, not much left that are going to hurt loons at this point. Have that one expo. It is gone. And now it is just clean up. Have a cannon over here. It's not going to do anything. And that is tree stars in the bag. Beautiful, beautiful attack, Fat Joe. Nice job. Um, all of the uh, 10v10 triples you're going to see today um, are, are Lalos of, of one sort or another. And that is the way to get 10v10s at this point. Uh, you can occasionally luck out and get one with the Bowler Witch attack, but uh, it doesn't have the same kind of skill that these attacks have and this is going to be exactly what I'm talking about. So puts down three bowlers and the goal is just to start setting a funnel here. That bowler takes out a mortar and another building. Bowler's walking over here setting this funnel and then he drops a skelly spell right there that takes out that air defense. Notice no splash damage over there. Um, nothing to, to get that um, or to protect that air defense and the, a single skelly spell takes out one air defense. King and queen come in over here. This air defense is still up, up top, but we have two air defenses here, and they are both going to get taken out by the king and queen. It, it's a little bit scary here because it looks like the queen is going to walk and not going to come after that air defense. She does, though. She comes up. She gets the cannon, gets this air defense, and that air defense and she is going to pop here in just a second and that pulls the enemy queen over and she's able to get the enemy queen two shots and that is it uh brings in starts his loons coming in doesn't want to start them too quickly has two hounds right there he's got a third hound in the bag and just one air defense up uh as you, as you might imagine, not all of his hounds are going to pop here. He was hoping to get that mortar down with that bowler over there. Didn't quite get it. Uh, one hound has popped. Second hound, I don't, I don't know if it ever does pop. <laughs> it might. Um, but uh, just a loon parade now. He does have a free spell. And the, last, and the next one we're going to watch, there's no free spell. Um, throws down a heal, and it's almost a swag heal because there's really not much there to get healed up. And there we go. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, Joe. And we will fast forward here through this. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, enemy hound in the CC. This gets scary, right? When you you got all a bunch of air troops out there. And they everything starts attacking that hound. You think, oh, no, leave it alone. I just want my loons to, to finish off these last few buildings. That hound is going to pop, but it doesn't matter. And there we go. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Joe. That's a six-pack, a 10v10 six-pack for Fat Joe. I've only seen that one other time that I can remember. Um, ah, Monstrugo. Another Lalo. He's going to start with a queen walk up here. Now the original uh, plan on this was to wall break in right around here by this um, by this inferno tower. It didn't happen. 
That Inferno Tower, as you can see, has too much distance and wall breakers get roasted before they can get to that wall. Um, so, uh, to, to take care of that or to counter that, they went with a, excuse me, a jump spell here. Comes down. Now notice that queen is going to get access to two air defenses. And these bowlers, if he plays it right, can get a third. Um, I don't think he does, though. I think that actually these two air defenses stay up. Uh, that queen, though, she's going to make it through this whole raid, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe right up until the like the last second. So anyway, he's waiting until that CC is down. King is taking out the Tesla in there. And King is down. Now it's just queen, and he starts his Lalo portion right here. And so he's got two hounds, one on each air defense that's still up. Uh, three haste spells in the bag. He's used two already, so he came in with five. Uh, that hound pops. This hound is going to pop right there. And that is it. Air defense is gone. Uh, uses hastes to get over to that last a, um, inferno tower. And the queen is still up. And this base is wrecked. That is three stars in the bag. GG Monstrugo. We'll fast forward here through cleanup. And that is it. Oh yeah, Troll Tesla. Um, so, three very nice attacks uh, by our Town Hall 10s. And just the amount of planning that goes into those is ridiculous. Hours of planning, actually. All right, we're going to move down to number 13, and we're going to watch Mitch do a Zapquake Quad Lalo here. So, uh, you can see on the spell uh, count, he's got a um, Skelly spell and a Rage, and then two Zaps and a EQ, and then, of course, a, a couple of Haste for Loons. Uh, the Skelly spell and the Rage, that's to take out the Queen. He's hoping to get a little bit of damage on that uh, on that expo, and it gets a little, but not very much. Um, okay, so a uh, couple of loons with the haste to get in there. Going to pull the CC out because he knows that he can't get, there we go, to that CC without it. Uh, drops an archer up here, pulls the CC. Now he, he's assuming he can take care of the queen with um, his with his uh, main attack using that Skelly spell and Rage. So takes out the, the enemy CC, and at that point, Queen is irrelevant. She'll work around. She's probably going to get killed by that BK, and it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> he's got some loons drifting off over towards, uh, I don't know uh, what's going on there, but uh, the rest of these loons are kind of swarming in around uh, that air defense and this air defense. Oh, and he gets a, a swag hound over here, unfortunately. That's what happened. I was watching this, and I was like, what in the world happened? Queen, uh, he's got the skelly spells down. Skellies, as soon as they get under rage, they rip that queen apart. So this is a little bit scary. That swagged, that swagged hound, uh, unfortunately, just sat over there and got beat up. Um, could have held on to that hound, or uh, my, my guess is he was trying to get it on the second air defense. Um, but... Lots and lots of loons, and they're just going to overpower this final air defense. There's just too much there. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Mitch. Nothing but clean up. And there we go. All right. Let's check out Maxwell. So Maxwell did a queen walk mass hog. Um... Oh, actually, he has bowlers in his CC, which I thought was interesting. Um, you often don't see that with the Max Hog, but he is going to wind up putting his king down with bowlers to push right along this back end here. But he starts with the queen walk up here. The goal here, get that queen and get the CC. So, Rage comes down on his queen, takes out the enemy queen, then a couple of hogs go in. <laughs> they run the wrong way. Uh, throws in one more to pull out the enemy CC. Works beautifully. Poison comes down. And Queen is still under Rage, which is very nice. Doesn't have to burn another one. But he is going to have to pop her ability here. 
There it goes. Uh, Queen is still up though. And we're going to work her way around. Uh, starts trying to set a funnel over here for his BK and bowlers to push south towards this BK. So it was what, he's, what he's hoping to do, kill that uh, BK, maybe take out some of these uh, defenses that would harm his hogs, and then bring in hogs from the top end to get these two, <laughs> and there they come, to get these two expos. Um, there we go, BK is taking out uh, the uh, enemy king, and fortunately, the expo was distracted there quite a bit by that BK. It was kind of perfect timing. Um, and that is it. There's, you know, just a couple of defenses left that could even harm hogs. One's being tanked by the queen. The other one is gone now. Um, so that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Maxwell. <laughs> a couple of swag, lots of swag troops on this one. I remember saying that in chat when he was doing this. Uh, next, let's have a look at number 15, and this was hit by Matt. So I, I don't even know how to say that name, but this is Matt Three Star, who is uh, also uh, our Town Hall 11 War General. And he's coming in with a witch, swa witch slap. Um, this is a... Uh, an attack that Bella has done over and over and over, and she is so good at it. Um, I mean, she I think right now is our has has our is our top person when it comes to Town Hall Nine triples, and and she does this you know better than anyone. I think she she really understands the base selection that goes into this, so she chooses the right base for it as well. It's not it's not perfect for every base. Uh, this base is good because these air defenses are all kind of outside of the range of these witches as they're working their or of these uh, healers as they're working their way down. Um, so he's just pushing his way through. Uh, Gollum is still up and at this point just a couple of defenses left uh, that um, Expo is, is distracted by the golem, and he's going to go ahead and take care of that with a wizard and a couple of, of bowlers. Uh, came in with five bowlers. He's going to leave with five bowlers. He is doing a, a bang-up job here. And we'll just fast forward here a little bit because there is not much left of this base. You've got that heavy uh, archer tower and mortar tower uh compartment there but that is it tree stars in the bag nice job matt all right one more and then we're going to call it quits for today uh number 25 um i love to show drag attacks and this was a perfect base for a drag attack notice one expo is down um able to hit two of those air defenses with a zap or with a, with a quake, and then zap on either one of them. And he gets to take out uh, not only two air defenses, but two air defenses and a uh, blower, you know, a, or an air sweeper. It's just, I mean, that's ridiculous value for uh, those spells. So he's sitting here, he's got, um, you know, two air defenses and one... Uh, air sweeper um, starts setting his funnel with his uh, drags there uh, using one baby drag that baby drag goes in to hit the queen and he drops all of his drags are getting close to this so he throws down that first um, that <laughs> that first hound now unfortunately uh, that first hound does not have much uh, to it he did have a hay spell, didn't plan to use the hay spell there, uh, was hoping to use it um, moving to this air defense, especially with that level 2 hound versus a max hound, but it doesn't matter, his level 2 hound kind of hangs in there long enough, and he's got a swarm of loons here, and he gets to that air defense before it becomes an issue, there it is, down it goes, uh, expo is going down right there, queen pops her ability, and he drops a, a, the last loon there. Oh, uh, sorry, the last loon comes down on a troll Tesla over here. And at this point, it is nothing but cleanup. Last Tesla's down. It is three stars in the bag. Let's push through this.
Nice job, Bazu. So, there it is. There's the war statistics again. Um, good weekend, Reddit Ace. I know you guys struggled a little bit during the week, had some drama on, on, on your side. Um, you were able to pull it together, and, and I mean... Uh, 81 stars with one base on hit. So Reddit Ace uh, likely would have had an 84 um, had, had that not kind of fallen apart there. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it was a good war. They did a good job. 90% dest destruction. So um, cheers and good luck in the rest of CWL. This is Dr. D saying clash on.